going to fold you down. This, whoa, okay, is what a restraint can look like for kids in group homes. I'm going to go quick. Yeah. Okay. This is how you hold somebody in a prone position. A physical intervention the Ontario government only permits as a last resort. And so this is where a restraint could stop. Yeah. When there's an imminent risk of harm to a youth or others. A little step down. Oh. Okay, whoa. But people who grew up in group homes told us they're used far more frequently to get kids to comply. For me, it feels like a body check to the floor. Ari Calero Romero, who was developmentally delayed, was restrained 69 times during the year and a half he lived at an Ottawa group home. Pain. It hurts. Yes. Ari lived at a group home run by a private company called Mary Homes which according to our analysis, had one of the highest number of physical interventions among service providers in the province. My arm snapped. Ari was 12 in September of 2019 when he was restrained on the floor yet again. His account of what happened and the incident report from workers differs greatly. What isn't contested is that it ended with his left arm broken. Ari is now suing Mary Holmes for $200,000. Mary Holmes wouldn't comment on the incident nor its frequent use of restraints, but intends to defend against the lawsuit. It's a very scary experience, especially for kids with mental health issues. Psychologist Maurice Ferrugi says restraints are an ineffective tool that further damages vulnerable young people. We hear that all the time, that they have been traumatized and they will have specific flashbacks of experiences when they were restrained, and these will last throughout their lives. It tells me that adults have lost control. What's crucial, says crisis intervention trainer Steve Hall, is that staff know how to de-escalate situations. Carolyn, we don't want to go here. And not be triggered themselves. A vast majority of the situations that I was involved with or I witnessed could have been avoided if adults would have been in better balance emotionally. He says the best restraint comes from care providers who don't use force. Carolyn Jarvis for APTN National News.